you how to use Comfy UI running in Google Colab to generate text, uh, I'm sorry, to generate video from text and images. Um, so because it's running on Google Colab, it's potentially a cheaper option than buying an expensive workstation or uh, I guess subscribing to some expensive video generation services. Um, and speaking of those, let me start off by showing you what those look like. Um, so this is Runway AI. It's a service that generates videos from text and images. And here's some of the example stuff that it can generate. So here's a monster. So it looks pretty cool. Um, here's an explosion. Um, and so, I mean, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty good. But I was just tired of paying the, you know, paying for credits. And it, it just felt like I was getting less for more every time. So um, I wanted to explore other options, and I discovered um, Comfy UI. And um, the, my first impression of this, of, of this UI is probably yours as well, is you know what the heck is going on? Why is it so complicated? And I, I think the way that I like to, to think about it is think of it like a car, right? So here's like an example of a polished UI. This is called Playground AI. You give it some prompts. You give it some stuff that you don't want. You maybe have some some other stuff that you can tweak here. Um, and, but for the most part, you don't. You're not exposed to the guts of how it works. And Comfy UI sort of t takes the paneling and off of the car and exposes the engine and shows you. And and and, and the, the the reason why that's so popular is because if you if you are so inclined to mess with the engine or the way that it works, you can produce some really interesting results. Um, so here, let me give you an example of that. Um, this is one of, uh, this is an artist that I follow on Twitter. He uses Comfy UI to create these sort of surreal, monsterish, um, mon monsterish things. Uh, that's the best way I can describe it. But, uh, you know, he has like this complex workflow in, in Comfy UI to get these videos. So. So that's like the, the, the main draw of Comfy UI. So in addition to it being potentially cheaper, like if you start to mess around with it, you can, you can make some really mind blowing stuff. Um, but let's look at this. So this is the default um, workflow, this whole connection of diagrams and nodes. It's called the workflow and it's a default one. It's just to generate uh, a video, uh, I'm sorry, images from text. So it was a beautiful scene of nature and, and that's what they got back. Um, and so what's nice about it, like, uh, is that you don't really have to understand how to connect these nodes until you need to, um, you know, there's, there are workflows that you can grab from the internet to, um, to, um, to what you call it, um, to enable other stuff like video generation. So in fact, I, I picked one up the other day for doing that and let me load it so here is um where is it yeah this is the one that i had so this one uses stable diffusion to generate um video from from an image so let's pick one let's say for example how about um uh what's a good one? oh let's do that one let's compare it let's see this. so so that's the input that i use in the in in runway, runway AI, so let's see how this compares. And you do have some parameters. Um, motion, yeah, that's probably enough. That's probably good enough. And Q is what runs it, so. There we go. Let's wait for it to generate, and it takes about three minutes. And while, it, while, that, while that runs, let me show you how, let's talk about uh, installing it. So uh, what I did, what you do is you go to the main Comfy UI um, GitHub, and there will be links to that as well in the description. And if you go down here, they have a section called Jupyter Notebook. Installing, yeah, here it is, Jupyter Notebook, there it is. And here is a Jupyter Notebook so that you can just download and then once you're in Google Colab, just upload. And it's literally that, that simple to, to run it. Um, and so um, this is that notebook. It's, um, all it does, it mounts your Google Drive so that you can save 
all of your models to Google Drive and not have to download them each time. Um, it installs some dependencies. Uh, this you probably want you. This is um, this is how you can download models, um, and you only can and, and just note you're only going to do this once. Another note too is that if this seems like gibberish or hieroglyphics to you, there are more intuitive ways of doing that. Um, um, namely, this thing called uh, Hugging Face Hub Download. Um, so here I tried to download this video. It wasn't working because that's a gated repo. You have to like, you have to actually, you can't do it in a, uh, you can't download that particular file in an automated way. You have to actually go there. So here, let, let me show you how that, how that, that process basically works. Um, so basically, say for example here, um, you, this is the Hugging Face website for the stability, uh, diffu uh, video diffusion. You download it to your hard drive, and then um, remember that this is saving it to Google Drive. So if you go to Google Drive, My Drive, um, where is Comfy UI, Models, Checkpoints, uh, then you just upload it here from here. So here's the button. So you would navigate to where you downloaded, select it, and upload it there. Um, so that is if you didn't want to use this way or this way. That is, if you didn't want to do it programmatically, it is still possible to do it, you know, like, like if you were in a, on, a, on a regular computer. Um, and then once you get some models in, 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 uh, downloaded, uh, you just pick, you just run it. You just literally hit that button here, play, and run Comfy UI with Cloudflare. It'll run. It, it takes maybe like a minute to load. And then they get at the bottom of the load, they give you URLs that you can click to open it. So if you click that, that takes you here. Um, and it's still running. Let's see how it's, how it's doing. Um, it is halfway done. Um, um, probably another thing I should talk about while that loads um, is nodes. So let's talk about how, the, how, this, how this, a little bit about, about how it works. So in general, you really don't, you know, you find a workflow that you like uh, you download it and you upload it and that's it. You, you should be good to go. But a little note about how st stuff works. Um, basically here, let me show you guys if I can do this. Um, if you go, if you grab a selector like here, so this is takes the image output, right? And uh, you pipe that result to, a, to what's called a node. And here are recommended nodes. But you can also search for ones. So, so uh, I've I've had I had it hooked up to one that um, uh, what is it? I forget what it's called. It's called um, oh, save animation web. Okay, so that was going to save it as an animation a ping. Let's see if we can change that to um, I think it's called uh, no, not save image video. Sorry. Yeah, here we go. Video combine. So let's do that as well. Um, so frame rate, I think we got everything. Let's see, monster. Let's not save it as a GIF, let's save it as a video. And let's leave all that other stuff as is. Yeah, all right, so now basically once this whole workflow is done, it's gonna save it both as a video Thanks to that node, and it's gonna save it as a uh, animated picture, as a picture, as a as a picture that's animated. Um, and uh, the way that that you install these nodes is probably the most complicated part. Um, maybe I'll um, I'll explain I'll I'll explain it maybe in a subsequent video. Um, but that is probably the most complicated part to to do because um, you do have to technically go to the repo where you want it. So, so here, let me show you what I mean by that. So this is called Video Combine. So Video Combine node Comfy UI. So here is the repo for that. And you do have to clone that into your, um, your Google Colab notebook. So that, you know, and like I said before, that probably is probably the most complicated part about this whole thing. And, um, it should finish, so let's wait for it to load. Prompt executed, and it is just loading. 
Maybe the video is already done. Maybe it's, let's see, where's output? Here is output. No, not yet. Come on. Why are you going so slow? Oh, there it is. All right. So it is pretty shaky. So, so that was probably an example of a bad video. Um, it's just <laughs> shaking. <laughs> so it's not really that good at all. Um, but yeah. Uh, here's here's um, so here's comfy UI. Um, so let's talk about use cases. Um, I don't generate a lot of a lot of videos a month. Maybe a couple of minutes a month. I mean that's still a lot of videos generated because they're about four seconds each. So it is a lot, but I'm not generating hours of videos. Um, you know, if you are, or if you need really high resolution videos, you probably want to get a dedicated computer to do this. Um, you know, Google Colab isn't going to cut it, um, or it, it will, but you'll end up spending a lot of money on on competing units. So it's probably not not uh, I guess not ideal for you. But if you have a simple flow where you just want some some videos, um, Comfy UI is definitely the way to go. I look, I mean, it looks like it. I mean, it can be potentially. Um, there's uh, one caveat that it should mention here is that the work the workflow that I'm using. Uh, assumes that you have different size widths and height specific ones and I was using different ones so uh, maybe if I change that uh, I might get a little bit better results um, so anyway that's it thanks